What up guys? It's your boy Pete, back here again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about the AP Chemistry exam, which I took this past year, which was my senior year. I'm a freshman in college now, and I got a five on it, so I'm just going to talk about the exam, talk about how I approach the exam, and yeah, that's pretty much it, so it's not really that exciting. Chemistry is probably one of the hardest uh, science subjects, in my opinion, and yeah, this exam is pretty tough, but let's get right into it. First things first, let's talk about the format of the exam. So obviously the format can change from year to year, but as far as I know, or as when this video was taken, the format was 60, uh, there's two sections to it, a multiple choice section with 60 questions and you had an one and a half hours to complete it and that counted for 50% of your exam score. And the other section, which was a free response section with about seven questions and that you had actually an hour and 45 minutes to, to do and that counted for 50% of your exam score. So that's just the format. Make sure you're comfortable with the format and you're not being uh, surprised by anything on the day of the exam because that'd be pretty bad. But you can also bring a calculator in and they recommend a scientific or graphing calculator. So make sure you check to make sure you're not bringing in an illegal calculator because that would be pretty sad to be uh, asked to leave the testing area because of an illegal calculator. I use the handy dandy TI-84 plus CE, so that's pretty great. It's a really nice ca calculator. It's got a cool screen that lights up and uh, it's been with me for a long time. Pretty much my best friend. Because I have no friend. Okay, what well, just came? Okay. So, my high school AP Chem teacher was actually a really good chemistry teacher, and she really prepared our class for the grade. She has a really high pass rate for her exams. So, I actually did not buy a review book. So, but I do know people who did, and there are plenty of videos of people who had good experiences with the review books. So, I, if you do need an extra review, or if you feel like your teacher didn't cover the material that well, Go ahead. You can try try Princeton Review or Barron's. I'm pretty sure they all have very good uh, content review uh, for the AP Chem exam. So feel free to buy one, but I personally do not buy one. So yeah, that's pretty great. Moving on. So when preparing for the AP Chem exam, make sure you take the conceptual approach to learning the concepts and to studying for the exam in general. Because generally the AP Sciences, especially in the past, like, say, five years, they've been moving away from, like, more rote memorization and very, very, like, equation-based exams to more concept-based exams. So, basically, they won't ask you, like, what is an ionic bond? And then you're like, let me check my dictionary. Oh, I didn't memorize it. And, you know, they're not going to do that. They're probably going to ask it in a different way that requires a more deeper knowledge and deeper, uh, I guess, understanding of the ionic bond or of the concept in general. So make sure you take a more conceptual approach, and uh, I guess you can look through some of the free response questions from previous years, and you can definitely see how they ask questions and that sort of that conceptual sort of idea. And that's the, another important uh, part of getting that practice in before the exam, because so you can get familiar with those sort of conceptual questions that they tend to ask. So chemistry is definitely seen as one of the hardest science subjects out there, and one of the reasons why I think it's so difficult and why it's perceived as being difficult is because it is actually just difficult. That's, it's difficult. But the reason why it's difficult, I feel like, is because you can't really see and visualize much of the stuff that's like going on in the questions, I feel like, because you, even starting with the atom, like it's taken us such a long time to get to the current model of the atom, but even then it's still a model of the atom. And like the models are always changing and we're always learning new stuff about it and we honestly you just with your eyes you can't see an atom you can't see the stuff that's going on in the questions and what the questions are asking about a lot of the times however to, since in order to sort of alleviate that problem you want to really focus in on many of the labs ap chem there's a lot of big labs that they uh require or usually require like classes to go over so it, take it in a titration lab for example you really want to focus in on those labs understand why the lab or what's the point of the lab and understand why the stuff that's happening in the lab is happening like when the titration you pour the acid and the base together color change happens you're like whoa mind-blowing but like 
understand why that's happening and what's happening at the molecular level to cause that sort of change that we can see with our eyes. And that'll really help, especially with the concepts on the AP exam. And yeah, chemistry is hard, guys. So I can't do a full content review of the AP exam material because first of all, there's just so much freaking material. Like there's a whole freaking textbook that like my teacher handed me a textbook on the first day and told me this is your textbook for the year. We'll be going over it. But yeah, there's so much crap. But uh, I would definitely take a look at the AP exam, chem uh, the exam formula sheet that they give you because that has a lot of the big formulas that you need to know. And looking at that, it will give you, okay, I need to know this, 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 kind of what's happening, those sort of concepts behind those equations, and that can really be a good starting point. Also, you may need to buy a prep book or one of those review books from Princeton Review, or you can really trust your textbook, because the textbook will definitely contain everything you need to know, but obviously you don't need to know usually everything in that textbook. So just be aware of that. However, I will say that in AP Chem, concepts tend to build upon each other. So like, take example, the atom. An atom contains protons, neutrons, and electrons, but of course, depending on how many electrons and how many protons there are and how far away the electrons are from the nucleus, the, there's going to be an electric force between them and that force will change depending on how many uh, protons and obviously how many electrons and stuff. And that's sort of based in Coulomb's law, right? That's like one layer of, uh, like, of like chemistry content, basically. The next layer would be to say, okay, why? Does Coulomb's law and all these electrons and protons explain the sort of tr periodic trends that we see like atomic radius and electronegativity and stuff? Like why do those protons and electrons um, cause these trends to happen? And that's the next layer. So chemistry is all about these layers of material. So the important thing is make sure you, before moving on to the next concept, make sure you understand and have that solid conceptual foundation built that sh and then you can later build upon and you won't like be confused later on in the course. So make sure you're really understanding as you go. Another example of uh, this content layering that I was mentioning earlier would be dynamic equilibrium and how it's later applied specifically to acids and bases. Like you need to know what dynamic equilibrium is, but then you, they later bring it back in the course and talk about specifically acids and bases and how they relate to the idea of equilibrium. So that's just another example. So now I'm going to go over the parts of the AP Chem like, course material that I found like the most difficult. So the AP Chem content can be actually divided into nine units, and that's atomic structure and properties, molecular and ionic compounds structure and properties, intermolecular forces and properties, freaking properties, gosh darn it, okay, chemical reactions, kinetics, thermodynamics, equilibrium, acid and bases, and applications of thermodynamics. So obviously, that is a lot of material, and that's why the AP Chem, AP, Chem, AP, AP Chem exam is actually a very difficult exam. And I feel like the first half of the course is definitely more conceptual and less math. And But a lot of those concepts are very important, especially like just the basic at atomic structure and like the all the compound structure and then their properties are very like, they can be confusing to especially explain why those properties occur. So that's the first half. And the second half of the course, I feel like you start talking about more chemical reactions and you add more concepts and you also add a lot more equations, I think. So just be aware of sort of how the course works. You're gonna definitely get that math in. You're gonna get a lot of concepts throughout. So just be aware. I definitely thought thermodynamics, acids and bases, definitely the hardest part of the course in my opinion. But just really read the textbook. There's a lot of different YouTube channels, a lot of different review videos that you can use to your benefit. And just ask questions and because AB chemistry, chemistry is in general just a hard subject. I've already mentioned that like 20 times. So just it's okay to ask questions and be confused because confusion, you have to be confused usually. Usually people are confused before they learn something. And that confusion and asking questions and really will help you really truly understand the material and do well on the exam. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have for today. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below because this ex video wasn't like terribly uh, deep or anything. So just, yeah, if you have any questions, just freaking let me know because you know, I just told you to ask a lot of questions. So now's your time to ask questions. Uh, but yeah, uh, feel free to uh, like, subscribe, unlike, dislike, 
unsubscribe, whatever you want to do with your life, you do, do yeah, you do what you want to do. See you next time.